think of New York City and you probably think of a crazy, noisy and busy city. And you wouldn't be wrong. But in today's video, we're going to show you a different side to New York. We're going to show you the more tranquil and relaxing places that you can visit for a little bit of escape whilst you're here in the city. We're Marion and Chris. In 2018, we quit the nine to five and bought Trudy, our camper van. We are currently on an adventure to drive the circumference of the world. Welcome to New York. There is actually snow. It's too hard to make a snowball. No, <laughs> it's frozen. And you can tell it's going to be one of those days because Marianne's following the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> a big green space that you cannot miss whilst you're in Manhattan is Central Park. It is the fifth largest park here in New York City. In fact, we found out that in the five states of New York City, there are over 1,700 green spaces, parks, recreational playgrounds. Wowzers. Just here in Central Park is the Chess and Checkers House. And in the summertime, you can actually go up and ask the attendants for chess pieces, at which they'll let you borrow for free. So you can sit out on a summer's day and play. Although today my, my face is completely <laughs> numb and I can barely talk. <laughs> you know that in the summer, this place would be absolutely packed with people having picnics, and uh, really enjoying the sunshine and the greenery. So we've arrived at Sheep Meadow. It's actually closed for the season, although it does say the law will reopen for winter activities with snowfall of six inches or more. With a total of 843 acres here in Central Park, there is enough space for everybody to come and get a little bit of their own space, tranquility, and enjoy nature here in Central Park. It's funny, every time we change countries or continents, there are new birds with new sounds. If you have any idea what that bird is, comment below. We're delighted to tell you that today's video is sponsored by Curiosity Stream. If you haven't heard of Curiosity Stream, it's a streaming service that offers thousands of documentaries and non-fiction titles by some of the world's best filmmakers. Basically, it's Netflix for nerds. Yes, and it's the world's first streaming service addressing our lifelong quest to learn, explore, and understand. With a wide variety of content on different categories, there really is something for everyone. And all for under $20 a year. That's just $1.67 a month. Being in New York, we've enjoyed learning more about this fabulous city by watching the series NYC Revealed. With episodes on bridges, airports, electrics, and even parks, some of these facts may surprise you. But this bustling metropolis is also home to more than 30,000 acres of this. The kind people at Curiosity Stream have offered Tread the Globe followers 25% discount, which is only $14.99 a year. That's only $1.25 a month. Which is a fraction of the cost of other streaming services. To get started, simply click the link in the description below and use the code Tread the Globe. Okay, back to the show. And find the dog. <laughs> Hello. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> this is a crazy English woman. I'm sorry. <laughs> So we're just walking past Times Square, the Brooklyn Diner here. That is a pretty impressive list of customers. Look, Matt Damon, LL Cool J, Ice T, Chris Rock. Have you got a marker pen? I can write Tread the Globe. Tread the Globe, add to the list right here. There's space. It's funny walking along and just seeing, you know, you come across the occasional little building that's really quaint dotted between the skyscrapers and uh, Turnbull and Asa there with the Union Jack flag 
looking pretty cool. And that's why we haven't brought Trudy to New York. <laughs> if you live in a city, put in the comments below how much is one hour's parking. I'm not sure it's that expensive in London, maybe it is now. And walking around you see really cool graffiti. In fact, this isn't graffiti because it's the police station. It's the 17th precinct police station. So amongst all these high buildings, we found a little park called Paley Park. So if you're looking for another little bit of escapism, this wonderful little park with seating area and a wonderful wall that is a waterfall just gives you that little bit of relaxation in the heart of Manhattan. Okay, maybe not everything is huge in New York. That's got to be the smallest police car I've ever seen. You can literally find anything in New York, including a national debt clock. We've come down to the vessel down here at the Hudson Yard. It is the main feature down here. This piece of architecture is very, very cool. It is actually closed at the moment to go in. But uh, if you get the opportunity, come down and check it out because it is an absolutely amazing looking place. It's so incredible! It's basically a series of walkways all going up here. A shiny, sparkly, Pinecone. <laughs> so the, although you can't actually walk up on all the steps, you can actually come into the bottom to have a look um, at the structure from inside. The other advantage is there's no wind. <laughs> right next to the vessel is the entrance to the High Line. Yeah, the High Line is another green space that you should visit if you come to Manhattan. It's a 1.45 mile elevated old railway track that they have converted into a park. And it was founded in 1999! Yeah, it was created by a group of residents that wanted to save the railway line and protect it for generations to come. This whole walkway was once part of the above ground railway tracks there, which you can see this is a really great example. And now it's just a wonderful walk in the park. It's completely free to get into and it's open every day during the winter from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. You get to walk the city without the hustle and bustle of the streets, all the traffic. My first thought as we're walking along is this would have been the uh, tracks going along here and there's these funky old buildings which we've all seen in the movies. How cool would that be? You can actually imagine the windows shuddering and shaking as you're trying to get some sleep. And walking along, you can still see the old train tracks here. I love how they've left one side to go wild for the nature. Look at that. There's a sign just over there saying make way for spring and as I'm walking along I can actually see the buds coming out all over the park. If you look closely you can see them all coming out. How exciting is that? Spring is one of my favourite times. I don't know when your favourite time of the year is but spring is definitely one of mine. Chris and I are walking along and we just can't get over that this attraction, because it is an attraction, many people come here, it's free, it's gorgeous. But it's just such it? a nice way to walk around the city because it's so quiet compared to the streets without the traffic and this is definitely, I would say, 
probably my favorite quiet spot in the city so far. Yeah, and I love that they've left the tracks in there. It really incorporates the whole feel of how they've restored it and they're loving it and looking after it. And that over there is the little island, which is a fabulously designed stilted garden with an amphitheater that do regular shows. We've left the uh, High Line and we're starting to wander down towards the heart of Greenwich Village. And I have to say that the streets here, they've got a very different feel. There's cobbled streets. It feels much more relaxed than uh, the other side of Manhattan that we were earlier today. Although there is a sign that says meat packing um, area, which makes me slightly nervous because I saw a scary gangster movie very near here <laughs> in the meat packing district. <laughs> So we just jumped into Starbucks uh, just for a quick coffee. Also a great place if you need the toilet because there aren't that many toilets around. But what makes me laugh is ever since the bagel incident, every time they say to Marianne, what's her name? She says, Helen. She's renamed herself to Helen. It's a thing. I'm every giving myself a new name every time. <laughs> ever since the bagel place and they're like, okay, your name's Helen. And they named her. So we've come down to the Greenwich Village area of Manhattan and these are the really cool buildings, apartment blocks that you see on the TV with the steps outside, the tree-lined streets. This neighborhood's got a completely different feel uh, to the rest of Manhattan. This is how I imagined old, old parts of uh, New York to look like. Very cool. Just randomly walking around the city, here's another one, Abingdon Square. Another thing that is massively iconic to me is these fire escapes with the drop down ladders. Ah! And another movie hotspot location is Carrie Bradshaw's house from Sex and the City. And if you're in Manhattan, New York, that's the Yankees. That is the baseball team of New York. This iconic street clock was actually made in 1909 by Tiffany. And that is the Flatiron Building. And right opposite the Flatiron Building, there's another park. to tell you a funny thing I have to confess when we were going towards the flat iron building I was like what's the flatty Ron what's the flatty Ron yeah I didn't know we hope you've enjoyed this episode if you want to see more of New York you're gonna to want to check out this video where we eat our way around Manhattan